What if I told you you could have a wider butterfly and less wear and tear on your hips? Interested? All right guys, so this video is about knee stacks. Now, I thought there was pretty common knowledge what these were, what they do, that kind of thing. But um, recently there was a post on GGSU, the Facebook Goldie Group, that made me kind of realize actually there's a decent amount of people that really didn't know about these, didn't don't know like the purpose or what they do, what they help you with. And uh, for me, I think everybody should be using these, you know, other than pros because of NHL guy, pro guy, they have uh, equipment regulations, restrictions that how like their knee stack, their knee landing has to be a certain size thickness, so they can't use this. But barring some sort of size regulation, you pretty much should be using these. So I'm just gonna go over what they do and how they help you. Um, so here is my Vaughn pads, that my main set that I use. The uh, red thing you see here, that's the added knee stack I have in, in these ones. So these are my old ones. These are pretty old. That's why I bought these new ones. I just got these from Koba. Uh, these are old ones that I've had. They're, I mean, they still work, but they're kind of getting worn out. That's why I wanted to get some new ones. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see it like, you know, it's not a huge thing. You can see this. It's not like super thick, but any little bit helps. And we'll talk about why that is. So raising your knee higher than your foot let's say this is your knee this is your foot and this is your down your butterfly the higher you can raise your knee the more it's going to take pressure off your your hip joint and you're going to be able to flare your uh have a bit better butterfly flare so like a little experiment you can do at home if you don't believe me or something uh get down on the floor maybe if you have a mat or something whatever just but on a level surface and so your leg is completely flat and try to do a butterfly and try to flare out and see how far you can you can get your legs and then grab some pillows or something to prop up your your uh, knee higher than your ankle and foot area and then try it again see see how far you can flare out most likely you're going to notice you're going to have a little i mean it's not going to be like night and day crazy but you're going to be able to flare out a little better when your knee is higher and you might even feel, especially if you have uh, hip issues, you might even feel that it's easier to do. So like for me, and I've spoke about this in past videos, um, I have arthritis in both hips and also I have a hip deformity that I was born with, which is basically a hip impingement in both hips. So, you know, I have the pain from the arthritis and discomfort. I have, I can't flare, I don't have a good butterfly, butterfly flare because of the impingement issue. So this really helps me big time. Like I said, it's not crazy night and day, but I get a little more flare and it takes pressure off my hips, both things I personally need. Um, and like I said, I don't know why anyone wouldn't want that. Um, you know, even if you have completely healthy hips and you have a great butterfly flare, you know, you're just a young guy, great hip joint mobility, whatever. But like, you're still putting wear and tear on that. and. Uh, like I said, if there's no rule regulation against the knee stacks, why not have something in there that's going to start helping you put less wear and tear on your hip now so that when you get older, you're not, you know, sorry for it. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's so that's basically like the reasoning behind this is, is to help out your hips and you can get a little bit more of a, a flare. You know, obviously, yeah, you can work on your butterfly flare by doing certain exercises or stretches or whatever. But, you know, there's two kinds of like flexibility. There's the soft tissue flexibility, which is your muscles, how flexible they are. And then there's the joint flexibility. You can improve muscle flexibility. You can't improve joint flexibility. That's just genetics, what you were born with. It's the formation of your joints. So if you have crappy joint formation, like me with my hips, it doesn't matter how, what I do, stretching, strengthening, what, any kind of training, I cannot improve my butterfly flare because of the way my hip is hip joint is formed but by lifting up the knee in comparison to where your foot is 
it's just it's the way that joint is designed that it makes it a little easier to have that rotation again it's not crazy i still don't have good flare but it gives me a little bit more and it makes it a little easier for me to do which like i said for me any little bit helps so and you know and this is a like i said very simple cheap relatively cheap easy way to accomplish this i mean it's just these things that you add to the knee landing of your pad <clears throat> so usually they come with with uh, velcro on both sides and that's how you put them into the pad because most knee landings on pads have a, some kind of velcro system with how it's all attached with each other and whatever in there so like you just you know separate two parts you slip the, the knee stack in there close it back up <clears throat> now i've seen like little homemade versions of these where somebody will just take literally like a, a piece of foam or whatever and just sh like kind of shove it in a space or whatever there i guess ultimately that could work too i mean anything that lifts your knee up higher would work you know personally i prefer like i said it's not that expensive <laughs> spending like the i don't remember this was like 25 30 i don't even remember but it, whatever I'll, I'll spend 25 30 bucks to get these you know professional looking thing that actually you know you can insert easily with the velcro and take off easily other than just like jamming uh foam in there but if you're desperate and you have no other option you could just kind of like jam stuff in your knee landing to uh, thicken it up a bit um you know and then it also kind of makes the knee landing softer and you know depending on what kind of foam you use so if you have like i don't have any issues with my knee thankfully but if you maybe do have issues with your knee or you feel like your knee landing is too hard that could also be another reason you use these to uh, add a little extra cushioning for your knee when you go down but like i use you know uh, warrior knee pads i also use old school uh, volleyball knee pads that i put right against my leg so I, I like my knees are pretty cushioned and i don't have problems with my knees anyway so i for me, that doesn't come into the equation as to why I use these. It's like I said, it's mostly just to get a little bit more of a flare and to uh, mostly to just take some pressure off my hips. So, yeah, like I said, if you're not using these, I, I would say definitely look into them. I don't know, like I said, I don't know why you wouldn't want to. There's no, there's no like downside to these. Um, so, yeah, that's just a little video if you don't know about knee stacks if you do preaching to the choir i don't even know why you're watching this video if you already use it but uh yeah if you don't man just heads up that i think these are great it's like i said very simple very cheap uh i recommend personally kova you know if you can find some somewhere else yeah, whatever it's your call but uh to me kova is really good when it comes to like any kind of accessories you know at this point i have I have suspenders of theirs. I've tried their neck guard, uh, their toe ties, and everything they make is excellent. So any kind of accessory you need for your goal pad, my recommend recommendation would be to go to go with Kova. But uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, hopefully I uh, open your eyes to something. If you didn't know about it, if you're already using it, good job, keep using it. Uh, see you in the next video.